Hello, hello, happy Friday everybody, it's Friday. Hi, I'm so happy you're here. I'm Stephanie, welcome to my sewing room, welcome to my channel. We're here, time for another sewing chat. We call this Friday Sews. It's a hashtag, hashtag Friday Sews. And, let me get this hair out of my eyes, ugh. Today I'm bringing you a fabric haul and it's all from one store online and it's kind of a fun haul because it has a few things that are different for me that I would normally buy and so I'm really excited to share that with you but I also want to chat so if you're just here for the fabric haul I'm going to do that first and if you're here for a chat I'll do that after and we'll see what's new with everybody. Um, so I love soft stretchy fabrics. <clears throat> I did not make this. This is store-bought and it's been in my closet for a long time. Look at these lovely sleeves. Aren't they cute? Would love to replicate that. It's just three um, layers of ruffle. Aren't they cute? Um, so I had to find something long sleeve to wear for you today because I have poison oak on my arms that I got from my dog. And I will tell you more about that in my travel vi video, which will be coming out next week about a trip that we took. So stay tuned for more. But isn't this a cute jacket that I never wear? <laughs> I think I'll wear it more since I pulled it out. All right, back to the fabric. So I bought all of this from Girl Charlie, and it's one of my favorite sources. I have a few favorite stores, and this is one of them. And I have my invoice on my phone because I can't find my paper. But um, I wanted to order a few things different than what I normally do. Number one, I wanted to order some more fabric for my granddaughter's dresses that I'm making for her so she can have some church dresses that are easy for nursing a baby. And so um, I picked two for that. Now she's received my test dress, so we still have to go over what to change and what fits good and what doesn't. She says she loves it, so we'll see. I'm gonna you know, dig deeper and make sure that's true because she could just be saying that. I am her Grammy and she might just be trying to make me happy. So I really want her to be happy. So I'm gonna show you the two that are hers first. So this one is a double brush poly and it is so beautiful. It's got a beautiful like tan beige backdrop with these lovely roses, are they roses? They're pretty orangey red flowers. Now my granddaughter is a redhead and she looks good in these earth tones for sure. Although, even though this isn't a color I would normally pick, I love it so much I would wear this for sure. But it's mostly for her, it's gonna be stunning on her. So that's this one. Hold it up one more time so you can see the whole thing. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so double brush poly for my granddaughter. And that one is, I would say red watercolor roses on taupe, double brushed Jersey spandex blend knit fabric. So that was this one. Next, I'm gonna show you the other fabric I got for her that she picked. So I sent her several to pick from, instead of making her go through the whole website, I picked what I thought she would like, which was more in the warm tones. And this was her second favorite. This was her first favorite. This was her second favorite. Look at this. It's so pretty. Another one that's not my colors, but I would totally wear this because it's so, so pretty. And the only thing that makes it not my colors is the uh, yellowy background because I am kind of sallow in my skin tone and I need more cool colors, the blue tones. And she is a redhead, so she looks good in the warm tones. So I've got this and this is same. Let's see what it says. Orange, red, gold, wildflowers. Orange, red, gold, wildflowers. Yeah, that's it. On cream, double brush, jersey, spandex, blend, knit fabric. Same thing. So those are two granddaughters. While I'm there buying and I'm already paying shipping, I may as well get something for me, right? So this is so pretty. Let me hold it up first. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my gosh. So it's... um kind of a blue green background with kind of a light blue almost a um, aqua blue flowers oh my gosh I love this so much I want this in my closet right now I have so many things on my on my wall that I also want in my closet so this is 
Aloha Floral Silhouettes on Dusty Sage Double Brush Poly Spandex Blend Knit Fabric. Now, we are at the end of Double Brush Poly, my favorite fabric. Now I wanted to experiment and see what's what. If I don't know what it is, maybe I'll just order some and find out what it is. And that's what these two are, to find out what they are. So this um, fabric is, let's see. Da, 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 da. Abstract big retro floral on white cotton jersey spandex. So this is white, this is cotton jersey spandex blend. So this is double brush poly. This is cotton jersey spandex blend. So I just want to feel it. What does it feel like? Okay, let's first look at it. It's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's super cheerful, almost kind of 60s retro to me. Um, one thing that I've sort of discovered recently with a dress I just made that I can't remember what, but I don't think I should pick this again because this really is a white dress and I don't like wearing white. I don't know why. I just don't feel like I like it. So this is a white dress with flowers on it. And so I'm trying not to pick white backgrounds. It's just a thing. So I will actually enjoy this because it's so bright and so cheerful and so colorful. But let's just feel it. What is the difference between this and a double brush poly? It's still very soft and it still has a lot of give. And it's a four-way stretch. Um, it's thinner than the double brush poly, so lighter. Might have a better drape. Um, it might have said the stretch on the website, but I'm gonna get my stretch ruler because I haven't pulled that out in a while. So let's find that wherever I put it. This is a stretch ruler that I got from uh, Stitch Buzz on Etsy. And I don't know if she still sells them, but basically it measures the stretch of the fabric. So what you do, and you could do this with, you can print a ruler on a piece of paper and uh, it'll tell you the percentages if you Google how to measure stretch, uh, a fabric stretch. So what you do is you, you lay it down and then you lay the, the ruler down and you hold it at the beginning and then you grab it at this one and you grab it at the five and you pull and you see how far you get, you get to the nine and nine is 90%. So it's very stretchy this way. Now let's check the other direction. Just side, that's long ways, let's check side to side, which is usually stretchier, isn't it? All right, we're holding at the one, we're holding at the five. Oh yeah, it goes past the ruler, so 100%. So this is very stretchy. So really anything that needs a lot of stretch, could this, this fabric would do. Now how do I get it back? All in all, I'm delighted with cotton jersey spandex. We'll see how it feels to wear it. I might actually like it even more than my favorite double brush poly. And honestly, it feels a lot like this, um, this top. So, very excited to try this. I'm thinking a dress, because I wear them a lot in the summer. A sundress, oh my gosh. There's this one pattern that I've made um, four times. <laughs> And I just wear those, it's the one with the ties, it's a simplicity, one with the ties on the shoulder. I could see that in this. I can see that in all of these, really. I just love that dress. Oh my gosh, and I get so many compliments on that dress. They want to know where to buy one. I love this pattern on this fabric. It's so pretty. I don't want to hold it sideways because it's really pretty um, up and down. So let me just open it up a little. Oh, isn't that pretty? It just, it just makes me think of an Asian uh, print. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's just so pretty. Now this is a fabric I don't know. And that is why I ordered it. Okay, so let's look and see what it is. Feather Fan, see there are fans. Feather Fan Floral on Midnight Jersey ITY Knit. What is ITY? I have to look it up, hold on. Okay, I have Googled it. It is, the initials represent interlock twist yarn. That little twist attribute assists this great fabric to be great, elastic, and feel soft to the touch. It is a fabric that is easy to work with, and the fabric does wonderful work when used for dresses, 
shirt, skirts, and extra. It's a polyester cloth that's expected to breathe well. So if you have breathability concerns, this might be the fabric that is ideal for you. This fabric has a little sheen along with a little body. Its liquid nature assists it to curtain well and to ensure that your number should be flattered every single time you take a step. It's a two-way stretch and it also washes well. Okay, so it's a two-way stretch, so not super stretchy. Whoopsie, did I lose my page? No, here it is. Um, two-way stretch, so not this, not as stretchy as any of these, but it has that, it, it hangs well, it drapes well, and I'm just really wanting more of that. Some of the, you know, some of the patterns, they just really look so much better when they just kind of swing and hang instead of just stick out or stick to you. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. It has that feel like it's going to drape well. What dress did I feel like uh, draped that needed a drape? Several, you know, several tops needed a drape. So this would be great in a lot of things. And I'm excited to try it. So I have a lot of options here for projects coming up. And it's like, I'm not really sure what my, this is the chatty part. If you came for the fabric haul, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please stay. We'll chat. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I don't know what my next project is going to be. I really want it to be a tote bag for my trailer. We have several trips coming up and I really want um, to, you, you know, I have a navy blue satchel that I've had forever and it just holds my books and my iPad and whatever I want it to hold and I put it on my side of the table and I want that to be out of my trailer fabric so it'll just look really cool in there. And um, I've been down the rabbit hole of patterns and I know what I want and um, I want a lot of pockets. I'm really looking forward to like, I want like a book bag with just handles. I don't need a big handle like a purse. I don't want it to be like a purse, not like a purse tote bag, but like a, like a satchel. Am I dating myself if I use the word satchel? <laughs> Our kids, they love these words. Satchel is one of them. And I'm going to continue to use it because I'm ornery that way. So I want a satchel. It's like a brief bag, like a briefcase bag or an iPad bag, you might say, or a book bag. It needs to be heavy duty because I'm going to be carrying books in it. So that's probably my next, my next goal. And um, I did talk about the slow sewing. I didn't do a whole lot of the slow sewing on my trip, but I am loving it. And I already want to make more squares to work on and I haven't even finished the one I'm on. <laughs> but it's going along really well. And I will be showing progress on that maybe next week. I don't have a lot to show just yet, but um, I've done a little on it and I want to do a little more. And I think um, it's just nice for like uh, when you're sitting and you just, you just want to do something. So if you don't know what slow sewing or slow stitching is, uh, you can watch last Friday's video and I did talk about it and told you a good um, uh, video to watch, but there's so many. It's just embroidery uh, doodling. Embroidery doodling is what it ought to be called. Somebody suggested adding beads, seed beads. Oh my gosh, I'm on it. I love that. What couldn't you add? This could get crazy. Kind of, kind of like junk journals. So could, so could this slow stitching could be just like that. You could add anything, anything. Um, so that's pretty much what I have. I do have a fun trip that I want to share. That's coming out soon. Hubby and I are going to talk about our trip to the ocean. It was good and bad. I'll leave it at that. How about that? Uh, we're having a nice weekend. Beautiful weather. Not hot, not cold. Can it stay like this? Because I love it. I love it. It's not hot, not cold. I just love it. I absolutely need to take you on a garden tour very soon. It is just looking stunning out there. I am amazed at what we accomplished with such little effort because we're not, neither one of us are really good gardeners and I'm more like the point and please plant this there. <laughs> please don't be mad at me. Hubby is fine with it. And um, was showing the garden to my friends came over for a barbecue. We had a barbecue lovely and I was showing them some of my flowers and one of them said there's some poison oak right there and I said ooh and uh so she called her husband over yep yeah, that's poison oak and I'm like right there in my flower bed and I'm like well I haven't 
been in the flower bed because hubby plants things for me but he has definitely got to get rid of that poison oak because obviously I could still catch it just if my dog rubs up against it so now I'm really reluctant to get in there and do anything because <laughs> I can't I can't for the life of me recognize poison oak I need to just study it and really learn it because my husband can glance down and tell you if it's poison oak and I can't I need to know this and after what I've gone through recently with this poison oak on my arms I am absolutely going to figure that out it's just so upsetting and yes I have all the creams all the lotions anything you can buy I have it and they all work and they all don't <laughs> it's just gonna take time to get it over with I'm at the very end so <sighs> I don't want to talk about that Eh. So, uh, the weekend, I have my granddaughter coming over because my grandson got invited to a friend's house and my granddaughter was going to be left with no plans because her friends weren't available. So, it's Grammy Day and we're having a girl day and she feels very special. So, it's so funny. I asked her what she wanted to do and uh, she listed off all the things she always does. She wants me to buy Lunchables. Uh, she wants to have a tea party with her tea set that she has here. And I said, well, what about dinner? And she wants goulash because that's they figured out that that's good and they ask for it every time. I'm going to be famous for goulash now. I have a good recipe. I love goulash too. I remembered it from my childhood and I made it for hubby. And so I told them, oh, I'm going to make this goulash for you. And they like the name is funny. And so now that's my dish. Uh, I have another recipe I think I might talk her into that I like some kind of don't really need goulash right now I just had some so um, everything I make I make for the freezer do you do that I make little mini dishes so when hubby's out shooting I only can heat up one it's like leftovers in the freezer I feed my freezer so I've already fed my freezer a bunch of goulash and I don't really want to make it again I want to make um, the, something else so it could be spaghetti I've got this cheeseburger um, casserole that's really good Oh, love that so I'm not one to talk cooking because I'm not very good at it but I do have Pinterest <laughs> that's all you need follow the directions and you get food right uh, so love my fabric and my two new fabrics that I've learned about now I know what ITY is and I love it I think I'm gonna want more now I know what cotton jersey is and it is awesome so stay tuned folks I might be switching it up a little I'm very stuck on my one kind of fabric but I really wanted to graduate into some other things oh I have to tell you I made that really cute top twice and um, it's two, the last two Fridays you'll see it and it's a um, pixie woven is the pattern can't remember who makes it wardrobe by me I'm not sure uh, but pixie woven pattern and you'll find it on Google but it's a cute one for woven and I have two and I wanted to wear them on my trip but I couldn't because all I could wear was long sleeve <laughs> I don't I didn't want number one you don't want it to spread and you don't want to scratch it so a long sleeve was just a way to protect it and uh, I couldn't wear all my favorite clothes on this trip because of that but so I'm really looking forward to wearing those tops and maybe that would be cute in it. The pixie woven, even though it has a little stretch. That is such a cute pattern. You guys should try it. It's all ruffly. I love it. Love it. It's super cute to wear. It's a dress, but I wear it as a tunic. I think of it as a tunic. And, um, hmm. Now when it gets really hot, I might just wear it as a dress. I have to look at how long it was. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now I'm rambling. I'm going to stop doing that. I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. I appreciate you so much. I look forward to reading you in the comments and um, visiting with you and hearing what you're up to. So do share whatever you're working on. You know what's cool is if you share what you're working on, then all of us see these comments can go look and see and get ideas. I love that. So Thank you for when you do that. And uh, if you haven't looked down the comments to see what wonderful things people are making, you might get exposed to something you didn't know about, like a pattern or um, a, a something, something. There's all kinds of things. Okay, I digress. I don't have anything written on my board and that's what's wrong. That keeps me on track and I will never do that again. Uh, 
Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. You take care and have a good weekend. Bye now.